Hi everyone, welcome to story time. We're gonna jump right in and start with our wiggle song today. And then we'll talk about the books and stories, the books and songs that we're gonna do. Is everyone gonna join me? You need to get your hands together. All right, hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Clap your hands, my darling. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Tap your toes, my darling. Fingers are wiggling. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle your fingers, my darling. Eyes are peeking, peek-a-boo. Eyes are peeking, peek-a-boo. Eyes are peeking, peek-a-boo. Peek-a-boo, my darling. Great, now we have all our wiggles out and we're ready for some stories. We're gonna do stories today about moose and about how hard mooses are actually to find. I've seen some moose, but not very often. What do we know about moose? Can anyone tell me? I know one thing. They are very big, aren't they? And super tall. And they have big antlers, right? Can you guys show me your antlers? There we go. You all look like little moose, right? Mr. Moose is very tall. His antlers reach the sky. They make a pretty good resting place for birds that pass by. Wouldn't that be a funny sight to see? Birds resting on the moose's antlers? I bet you that really does happen. The first story we're going to read today is called Elusive Moose. And that means the moose is hard to see. And this is a really cool book written by Joan Gannage. And I'd like to thank Barefoot Books for letting us share the story today. And Claire Beaton has done the beautiful artwork inside and it all looks like real, it's sewing, it's very cool. So you have to keep your eyes peeled and see if you can find the elusive moose that we're looking for. Far off in the north, I've seen horses with foals. Look at all those horses. Do you see a moose in there anywhere? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I've spied beaver families and marmots and moles. Isn't that a beautiful picture of beavers and marmots and moles? Oh, what's that? Hmm. I've met geese and goslings. I've crept very near. Oh, what's that? Hmm. I've seen a brown bear. I've seen caribou deer. I hope everyone's using their good looking eyes. And searching for the moose. At night, I've heard badgers and green frogs that leap. But I dream about moose as I slumber and sleep. Oh, they're gone to bed in their tent. Oh, and what do you see? I think those are moose. Those are elusive moose. I've spotted fish eagles and cranes in the sky. They're hard to see. I've even seen grouse. I've seen squirrels that fly. Have you been still looking? Have you spotted any moose? I've tracked down moose hoof prints on loud white with snow, on land white with snow. Oh, look at, there's his antlers. 
And what are those? They look like hoof prints. Oh, and what is that? I've seen Arctic foxes and hares come and go. Oh, they're giving us lots of clues in this book. But moose are elusive. Moose roam where they please. I wished I could see one just once. May I please? What's that? A great big moose with antlers. I think that's a fun book with fun artwork in it. Okay, we're gonna do the moosey pokey. So I need everyone to stand up. And you're gonna get your hoofs ready, right? Your little moosey hoofs. You put your hoofs in, you put your hooves out, you put your hooves in and you shake them all about. You do the moosey pokey and you turn yourself around and that's what it's all about. Get your antlers. You put your antlers in, you put your antlers out, you put your antlers in and you shake them all about. You do the moosey pokey and you turn yourself around and that's what it's all about. You put your whole self in, you put your whole self out, you put your whole self in and you shake it all about. You do the moosey pokey and you turn yourself around and that's what it's all about. Great. Now you're ready for our other story about moose and it's called Looking for a Moose. And these kids are having a hard time finding the moose. And this book is written by Phyllis Root and illustrated by Randy Cecil. And I'd like to thank Candlewick Press for letting us share this story today. Now this is the same thing. You're gonna have to keep your eyes open and see if you can find any moose. Looking for a moose. Have you ever seen a moose? A long leggy moose? A branchy antler dinner diving bulgy nose moose? No, we've never ever 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 seen a moose. And we really, 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 really want to see a moose. Well, let's go. We put on our hats and we pull on our boots. We look in the woods. Stomp, tromp, tromp, stomp. The treesy, breezy, tilty, stilty, wobbly, knobbly woods. Hmm. And they look and they look. Let's see we can see anything that might be a moose. Hmm. We look and we look, but it's just no use. We don't see any long leggy moose. Now what? We'll look in the swamp for a dinner diving moose. We roll up our pants, we take off our boots. We wade in the swamp, squelch, squirch, squelch, squirch. The sloppy, gloppy, lily loppy, slurpy, glurpy swamp. We look and we look, but it's just no use. We don't see any long leggy dinner diving moose. They just can't see them, can they? Now what? We'll look in the bushes for a branchy antler moose. We roll down our pants. We button up our sleeves. We scrape through the bushes. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. The brambly, ambly, branchy, scrunchy, scrubby, shrubby bushes. We look and we look, but it's just no use. We don't see any long leggy dinner diving branchy antler moose. Hmm. I think they need to look a little bit better. How about you? Now what? We'll look on the hillside for a bulgy nosed moose. We take off our hats. 
we tighten up our packs. We scramble up the hillside, trip, trop, trip, trop. The rocky, blocky, lumpy, bumpy, fuzzy, muzzy hillside. We look and we look, but it's just no use. We'll never, ever, ever, ever see a moose. Hmm. What do you spot? Hmm. Oh, what's that? They need to look. They need to open up their eyes. Oh, what's that? What do you think that is making that noise? Look there! It's a long, leggy, dinner diving, branchy, antler, bulgy nose moose. They finally spot him. And a moose, and another moose, and a moose. Wow. We've never, ever, ever seen so many moose. Whoa, look at them all. There's too many even to count. They went on a moose search and they found so many moose. Wow, I would like to have been with those guys. How about you? Okay, we're going to do another moosey song, and you guys can help. We need to stand up again. Are we ready? Moosey, moosey, turn around. Moosey, moosey, shh, don't make a sound. Moosey, moosey, dance on your toes. Moosey, moosey, touch your nose. Moosey Moosey, reach up high. Moosey Moosey, wink one eye. Can you wink one eye? Moosey Moosey, say good night. Moosey Moosey, shut your eyes tight. Time for Moosey Moosey to go to bed, right? And our craft today is actually two kind of crafts. It's the letter M. And that's what moose starts with. M. M. M is for moose. So inside this bag, you'll have everything to make a little M craft that looks just like a moose. So you can pick these up at the library. They're here waiting for you anytime you stop by. And now it's time for our goodbye song. And I want you all to sing it as loud as you can, okay? See you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. See you next week, everyone.